Hey guys, it's Kay there. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 22 of our daily UI series. Today we're going to be creating a search feature for an iPhone application. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Apple iOS kit that Adobe provides for us. And we're going to grab a few things. We might need a keyboard, so I'm going to grab the Twitter artboard and paste that into our project. I'm also going to grab this little bar up here so we can have the status bar as well as the title and a bit of that spacing. I like to use that a little bit every now and then. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to drag that up to the top and send it to the back. I already have a few colors that we might be using, not 100% on these, but for now I'm going to change that to a lighter blue and this is going to be centered. I need to do that first and then it's going to be called search. We're going to have a back icon over here probably and then on this other side we're going to have the search icon. Down in this section we're probably going to wireframe up a bit of our recent searches so we might have something like a profile that we've searched up recently and some other things like that. So that's what we're going to be designing for the search feature today. It's going to be our recent search page and it's going to also give us the option to search. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get started wireframing. So I'm going to leave this spacing here. I'm going to copy that. And let's make this kind of like that. And then let's put it 20 from the side for now. I'm going to give it 20 spacing over here. So we're one, I think, off on this side. Yeah. So let's grab this and then shrink it just a bit. And then kind of put it like that. That looks okay. And then down below that, we're going to have another one of these. How big actually is this? 36. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I think this is too much spacing for what we're trying to do. So let's just stick to 20. That's what I usually go with. It looks good on most things. So 20. Just to split the screen up a little bit, we might have something else there. And then down here, we're going to have uh, some recent searches. And then we might put the keyboard in. So let's paste that over. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to change this to a white. And I'm going to add that to my swatches. Let's try this bar in this like red color. Ooh, I like that. So I'm going to delete that. And do I have that open? I do not. Let's go back to the Apple iOS kit. And I'm going to grab the white status bar. And I'm going to change the Bluetooth icon to white because I don't like it gray. I think it looks weird. All right, so I'm going to grab an arrow icon. This is going to be our back button. For now, I'm going to leave it that size and I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to center it up with our search. Actually, I'm going to try to do that so it doesn't move the search. There we go. And then on the side, I'm going to do our 20 spacing again so it lines up with that edge real nicely. And then we're also going to have a search icon there that I mentioned. So I'm going to grab one of those, drag that in. And this is the linear icon pack, by the way, that I'm using. If you guys are interested, it's free. They have a paid version as well, but I don't have it yet. I might get it. I really like their icons. All right, so next let's add some text in here. So this is going to be the recent section. So we might have to bump this down 10 or so so we can have the word recent in here. Recent searches. Or let's just leave recent. We're in the search section. They're going to know it searches. So I'm going to try this blue color and then let's drop this down to 10. That might be too small. And maybe a little bit. Some people might have a hard time reading that. So let's try 12. I don't know. I'm going to bump this down 10, like I said, and then put that back there. Yeah, it needs to be bigger. So we definitely need more spacing there. So let's try like 16. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, so I might just leave it there for now. And then down here, we're going to have our recent searches that are text-based. So these are like profiles and things like that. 
20 spacing on that and we'll just do I guess a height of 50 on this and I'm gonna leave the borders for now and I'm just gonna put a text placeholder so this is the text we recently searched for match that 20 spacing on the side and we might need to drop the font size down what is this 17 16 let's put that to 17 just to match that and then this can be 17 as well probably yeah we'll just have one consistent font unless it's necessary to have something else so this is recent and then let's do a redo icon on this one drag that in okay center it up there and then place it 20 from the side and let's change the color to the blue that I used up there and let's actually change this text to that blue as well okay alright so for now I'm going to lock this box and then hide it yeah so that's one of our recent text searches before actually let's unlock that because I need to do another one so let's just copy it and then drag it down there we go instead of just locking it let's just turn the uh, layer off there we go that looks really good alright so next we need to do this alright so I quickly changed all of these to a different color and lowered the opacity uh, so they have more bluish tints in them I also lowered the size on this and then I thought about it and since we're not actually gonna have this button open we're gonna need we don't need the keyboard so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then I'm going to grab one of these sections and just copy it two more times to kind of fill in that white space for now and then we can just hide all of those rectangles so we have something like that we might also be able to bump those down and add another section up top so let's just put them at the bottom for now and then I'm just going to drag those down go up 20 from that place that in position 20 below that and 20 below that and then we'll move these up 20 as well so we have that then I'm going to hide all those again so there we go so now our app is more filled out on the page and we don't need the keyboard when the keyboard actually isn't open I wasn't thinking on that one um, so that looks a little bit better okay so I've downloaded some TV show and movie like Netflix posters so we're gonna be using those as these sections so the person is like searching those shows maybe this is like a ratings app or um, it's a streaming app something like that uh, so I'm gonna drag in one of those now and then I'm gonna use since these are a little bit different shape than our squares I'm going to use a mask on this and then I'm going to be adjusting the image in that to make it fit whatever looks best that way so let's grab our image and scale it up just a bit on Bob's Burgers there okay all right, so maybe this one is a new release so this is going to be a full section and we might have a new new button here in the corner the same color as this red I think that'll look pretty cool all right so that looks good uh, let's do our featured button or our new button so I'm gonna add the red color and then we might leave a border on there and do blue or the bluish gray actually let's remove it for now on the border radius let's try five and then we'll just do white text and then center those inside of each other the text needs to be smaller and then let's just put it here go in let's go down five one two three four five one two three four five okay and then I probably need a drop shadow on the rectangle so put that on there zero let's make it just slightly darker probably 20 and then this needs to be 17 I did scale down this text up here let's see what that is 14 let's try that and center those up 
does the blue look weird yes it does okay so there's our new button maybe a little bit more drop shadow and I think it's good to go yeah let's preview this it actually might need more drop shadow this is a really colorful image in the corner so it's kind of hard to separate that uh, let's see 60 I think that's as good as we're gonna get we might add a border of white to this to make it yeah stand out a little bit more I'm gonna center all of these up and make sure everything is good to go should be 20 from the side they are and all we have to do is change that text for this let's try a lighter color maybe I do need the recent searches in there all right so if we do that let's bump all this down 10 and then this needs to be five all right, so real quickly, all I did was add a two pixel border radius to each of the images to clean it up just a little bit. I changed the text to recently watched, so we have our recent shows that we've watched in case we want to search something related. And down below that, I added a little tag for recently searched. I changed the text so we have things we've searched for, such as Iron Fist, The Ranch, and Last Man Standing. And that is going to do it for today's design. That was day 22 of the Daily UI series. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video for more Daily UI. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.